On Saturday at WWE Bad Blood, Jimmy Uso made a surprise return to help Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns defeat Solo Sokoa and Jacob Fatu. In the process, he persuaded Reigns to assist Rhodes in an attack after the match. Later, Uso joined Reigns to open the next edition of WWE SmackDown and also ended the show by telling Reigns, we need help. Earlier in the show, Reigns had turned down the proposal, despite Uso insisting that they no longer had a tribe and were no longer the ones. In the main match of the night, Uso finally took on his younger brother Solo Sikoa, the new tribal chief, on his own. In a backstage segment, Uso said that he wanted to take on Sikoa alone. Sikoa, on the other hand, was accompanied by Fatu, Tama Tonga, and Tonga Loa. Fatu intervened directly in the match and attacked Uso with an unexpected punch. During the match, there was constant interference from the bloodline, which eventually led to the referee and Uso being distracted. Sikoa took advantage of this to secure the victory for Uso with a Samoan spike. After the match, the expected attack on Uso began when suddenly Reigns' music hit. Reigns stormed into the ring and took out Fatu as well as Tonga and Loa. But before the showdown with Sikoa, Reigns was surprised by Fatu with an attack. Uso then took a superkick from Fatu and a moonsault, while Reigns was knocked out by the Gorillas of Destiny. In the end, the new bloodline stood triumphant on the ramp while Uso struggled to get up in the ring and told Reigns that they could not defeat Sokoa's bloodline alone. 